YouTube. Welcome to my channel. FN2Ops is gone. So I'm taking over. I'm gonna try to install the FL ratio gauge. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go to the video. <laughs> Hi YouTube, uh, happy Halloween, if this video makes the Halloween, <laughs> and I uh, and hope you guys are having a great weekend, uh, or a spooky one. Um, so today we're bringing, uh, again, another video, um, something that I bought um, more than one year ago, but you know, the Covid and stuff, never got time to do it, plus I needed the 421 manifold uh, to install this. And basically, this is a AEM um, AFR or air fuel ratio uh, gauge. Um, and the plan is to fit this in the driver's vent on the right hand side, I think. Um, and to do that, we got a kit from uh, Exo Racing, uh, and basically, is a 3D print uh, holder for the gauge for now this is what the important bit because obviously we are running a 4 to 1 manifold and basically I want to make sure that uh, we are not uh, either rich or lean so let's do a, a quick review on this one yeah here we got the kit I opened this before so it's forward Do it. Usual paperwork, the instructions. Wiring, the actual sensor, the gauge, and connectors all right so as you can see it comes with a uh, basically lambda sensor uh, which we're gonna connect in the manifold um, according to the manufacturer we should connect this as close to the uh, primary O2 sensor as possible um, then we got the wire that's gonna run um, from the sensor all the way to inside of the car in the cabin um, this I don't know if you can see it where is it pretty sure I saw it somewhere there you go uh, there we go so this is right to 108 degrees so if you don't have uh, any um, heat wrap on your manifold probably strongly advise that you uh, use some uh, heating protection on this wire, so some like heat sleeve or something like that because uh, otherwise 100 degrees is not much if you think about it and finally we got the wiring that goes to the the sensor to your gauge um, so you have to do all these connectors to get the power and the hertz and and basically you connect the back of the sensor this one and that's pretty much it now we got the exo racing uh, um, gauge holder which comes in a really nice box I don't want to damage this here we go some exo racing stickers some merch some merch yeah, and this is the actual box, which is pretty, pretty printed. Yeah, you can see it's pretty three D printer. Um, yeah, so uh, our gauge will go basically inside that. All right, this is it. I'm not 100 percent sure if this is the way uh, she goes. 
but obviously when we try to fit this uh, we'll sort it out um, but that's pretty much the plan here we are again guys so the bong that we're gonna use is the second one so the, you got the primary uh, O2 sensor you got the secondary O2 sensor and you got your AFR gauge um, in the middle which is perfect in my case all I need is a 90mm socket which I already untied it and remove the this cover here which is basically a bonk yeah. and uh, fit the new sensor ok so we are gonna use some copper heat as we did with the previous sensor just to make sure it's a bit easy to remove um, if we need to we literally just need a little bit in the thread so make sure you're not you're not putting in the, the actual sensor just a little smear up now we'll make sure that we are straight Technical difficulties. Yeah. Which is good. There we go. That's it. I guess a quick update. Say so the sensor is still here, uh, but I've realized there's not much room uh, for a big plug like this to go through. So you need to go uh, using the small plug and feed the cable uh, where the other sensors basically go. So you, if you watch um, the path for the other um, lambda sensors, they go through that gap. And then what I've done is I've dropped a string, what you can do with the wire and to exactly the same spot which is there I taped the string to the sensor cable and now I'm going to pull it from the, the other side and hopefully it will follow the route of the other sensors It's a boy! It's a boy! Right, quick update where we are. So as you can see, the sensor is now on. I'll put some uh, cable tires in the other sensor's bracket so there's enough play. Um, but it's not dangling. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I should just leave this one as it is. It's not like it's going to drop massively, um, but right now it looks okay actually. And if you can see there, so I'm going to cable tie the rest of the wire all the way up um, together with the other sensors. And um, yeah, so right now we're just going to put the tray back on finally. And uh, and we'll see what we're going to do from the top, which is, I assume, is going to be a bit more trickier than just plugging this. But we'll see. Uh, right, guys. So in order for us to uh, access the grommet that uh, goes through the firewall, we're going to have to remove the shuttle um, panel, which, surprise, surprise, uh, we've done that before when we had to move, uh, change the spark plugs. And uh, now I've done that, but now we need to remove also the heat shield, uh, which is this. So there's a 5, 6, uh, 10 mil bolts that needs to be re removed. The trickiest one is the one that are just there. I don't know if you can see it. And if they go 
if you basically lose them they'll go to the under tray and then it's a pain in the ass to get them back basically so yeah let's try to remove this can tell I've been here before because they are not that tight now for the ones in the back you're gonna need an extension socket and pray to the gods that they will not come up and lose it in the black hole of civics so that one is done that one is done so don't drop it now See what I mean? Really easy to drop it because you got the under tray. So this one is a bit easier to get. Needs to be removed. Try not to scratch my camp cover. And off she comes. Boy. Right guys, another update. So we cable tie pretty much the root uh, for the wire, trying to avoid the exhaust manifold obviously. And now the idea is to basically feed the cable inside through the firewall. As far as I can see, there's only one grommet that I think I can use, and there's this one here where the wire loom uh, from the ECU goes to inside the car. Uh, I'm gonna have another look around and see if I can find anything else, but looks like that's the way where we're going. Hi guys, uh, so quick update. I don't know if you can see, but there's a small, it looks almost like a nail, but it's actually a drill bit. So I push the drill bit through the grommet, avoiding all the, the wires and see if it was coming from the other side. I don't know if you can see there. There's there we go, focus. Right, I don't know if you can see now, but yeah, that's our drill bit there. So um what we're gonna do is just gonna put a screwdriver to basically make the hole bigger and try to feed the cable. Um this is literally just above the clutch pedal, just for indication. Right, I guess this is it for the video. As you probably can hear, it's raining, so there's not much I can do. Um, we are almost there, so we uh, basically we protruded the the grommet. So I'm just making the hole slightly bigger to feed the wire. So I guess this is it for this video. Um, part two will be basically wiring up. Um, the AFR gauge. Um, I still need to search more about that. So where I'm gonna get my my power and my hertz. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, see you on the next one. And hopefully by then it will stop raining. See you guys.